Yo, 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 we back again today, guys. And today, I wanted to talk about communication and friendship, <clears throat> especially in the African-American community, right? So one thing I started to notice the older I get, and I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or is it because um, it's always been like this or it's always been slowly declining or maybe it's getting better in some places. Who really knows? It's all very subjective to wherever you're at. But what I've noticed around where I live at in um, more so a lot of northern states compared to the southern states, from what I experienced, I could be wrong, right? Like I always say, I could be wrong. But from what I experienced, I feel like there's no communication anymore amongst black men or black women as far as saying hi to each other. I feel like, you know, we have a long history of, of, of community. And when you go back to Africa, it was all about community and, you know, communicating with one another to survive as a as a clique or as a group or as a uh, uh, kingdom or empire or village or whatever it might be, right? Whatever the term might be. But that's always been in our community. That's always going to be in our community and should be in our community. But a lot of times I notice now that a lot of people are very standoffish. A lot of um, and I can maybe talk more so for black men instead of uh, black women because I'm not a black woman. I don't know that experience. But um, for the most part, even well, I can't say from a man's perspective going to a black woman, but from a man to a man, I noticed that like when you say like, you know, for instance, I'm younger than maybe some people and maybe I'm older than some people. But, you know, maybe you see somebody and say, yo, what's good, King? Or what's up with you? Or, yo, how you doing? Or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it might be. Um, you know, I noticed ten, and I, and I, I noticed that a lot of people don't, uh, you know, reply back. A lot of black men don't reply back. Now there are some that be like, "Yo, you know, what's good?" Um, and I don't want to say all, but I noticed at, for the last couple of years, you say like, "What's good to somebody?" or "What's up with somebody?" Now I'm not, you know, I'm definitely not uh, ruling out that people have bad days. You know, there's just every human being, regardless of what race you are, yo, you're gonna have a bad day. That's just is what it is. Sometimes you don't feel like talking to nobody. Sometimes you're going through problems in your life and whatever it might be that you don't feel like talking to nobody. I'm not talking about those occasions, but I'm talking about the occasions where we have become such a, a, um, a like a sharing society when it's, when it's BS, right? For African-American community, it's like when it's, when it's, you know, stuff that really doesn't matter. We, you know, a lot of drama stuff, we share that in, you know, in common and we're all giddy to share that with each other. And like, oh, you know, this, this, and that. if it's not about drama, then we don't really want to talk about it or we really don't want to have a conversation about things. But when it comes to unity and saying what's good to your brother, because that could change a lot of things in his life that could uh, make a person feel like they're not alone. It can make a person feel like, uh, you know, if they're an introvert, maybe they need to reach out to people to change their life or to, you know, make them feel that they are not going through the same problems as an African-American on a daily basis by themselves, you know? So that's one thing that I noticed and we have to really work on communication. I feel like almost every black person that you see especially African-Americans, you should talk to them in some form, you know, some form uh, of fashion. You should talk to them. You should say, you know, hey, how are you doing? Or you look nice today or you smell good today or, you know, you um, uh, you look very intelligent or you look, um, you know, sad. What's wrong? You know, can I help you with something? Things like that. It's something that we need to get back into doing. And that's why I wish we had uh, more ancient greetings that we knew from Africa, because it, it almost is that's almost a way to make somebody talk even if they didn't want to talk um but that's something i noticed the communication definitely has to get better as far as when we're out in public if you see another brother say hi if you see another sister say hi and just say hi and hey how are you doing you know how's your day going even in passing hey how are you doing you know that could change somebody's life that could change somebody's day and also it forms unity you know you can make a new friend off of just saying hi how are you doing or yo what's good how you been you know uh you know where you live at this is not link up and for all the brothers and sisters that do it obviously this is not the message for you you already do it i do it even sometimes i say what's up and i say hi to somebody they don't even say something back to me another african-american dude will be like not even say nothing just walk right by me or sometimes they're so amazed that somebody actually talked to them on some just being friendly that they just walk past you but you notice that they have like a really puzzled face uh questionable face like hold on did that person just talk to me and i noticed that a lot of the newer generation they're very like they're not good uh communicators you know they don't really know how to communicate they don't really understand why you should say hi to somebody or go up to somebody and just be like uh you know hey how are you doing like uh, not all of the young younger generation or at least the generation that's the, the end of my generation like the really, really young part of my generation but um, you know, I noticed those kind of things from a lot of younger people as far as uh, the shyness or the 
not understanding why you should even say anything to anybody. Like a lot of individuality and individualist is, is being implemented into us. And I know a lot of that is with social media as well. Um, you know, as far as, you know, people being behind the computer screen more than they actually interact with people and going to get coffee with people or going to sit down and have conversations with people. And once again, this is not for the people that do that. This is for the people that don't do that. And for the people that do that to still, you know, feel encouraged to say hi to your fellow African-American brother or sister and, you know, encourage them to speak or, you know, just even tell them like, yo, you know, it's all good. You know, you know, just speak a little bit or, you know, you talk, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. So. I think that we need to definitely do that. Communication is the beginning for everything. Communications create wars and communications in wars. Communication creates friendships, they end friendships. Communication creates relationships, they end relationships. So communication is the basis, I think, of one of the uh, problems with the African-American community, especially is that we need to learn how to talk to each other and not get so offended when we talk to each other, regardless of whatever your religion is, whatever you're, uh, you know, uh, you're doing in your life, whatever your status and money is, we shouldn't you know, put people in boxes. I know it's not that easy. People are probably still going to do it. But I'm just saying that whoever's watching this, we should at least try to communicate. And for the brothers and sisters that are watching this that are not good communicators, you know, we should at least try to be better as, as far as public and see when we see another African-American person or another person of African descent, we need to say hi. I feel like that's something we definitely need to do. At least say hi. At least say hi. From African-American women, I know a lot of uh, brothers out here that are, you know, just... I guess more so about the physical part of a woman. You know, I know that you get hollered at a thousand billion times a day, you know, like, oh, yo, ma, can I do this? Or, you know, uh, shout it, you know, if you're down south or whatever, you know, hey, can I talk to you, whatever. And I think that's not bad if it's brought to you with respect. But I understand that there's like a million dudes trying to holler at you every day. And then some, there's some guys where a million women holler at them every day. Not me, but, you know, some guys, it happens that way, right? So, but for the women, if a man gives you a compliment, every man is not really just trying to, you know, have something physical with you. Now, we're all men. We're all women. We're, of course, we're attracted to each other with a different sex. But every man is not saying something. Sometimes I tell a woman that, hey, you smell good because she truly does smell good. It doesn't really mean I'm trying to come on to her. I'm just saying, yo, sister, you smell good. Or yo, sister, I like your locks. Or yo, sister, you know, I like your energy. I like your aura. I like, you know, what you're about. So communication on both sides, whether it be male to male or male to woman or woman to woman, and I can't really speak on that one because I really don't know, but you know, I feel like black women sort of get along. I know there's a little bit of feistiness sometimes and a little bit of uh, you know not wanting to talk, talk to each other, but I can't really talk to that. I can't really talk on that subject that much or that part of the subject because I'm a man and I just have my interaction with man to man or man to woman. So communication is, I feel like, the first part in our community that we need to like sort of reclaim and get back and to communicate with each other and link up with each other. The next part, friendship. Friendship in African-American community, you know, we need friendship. We need one another. We have to have people. If we look at it like this, if somebody's a writer and you want to write a book, but you don't write, well, then you can link up with that writer and you can tell them your idea and you guys can exchange uh, ideas. You can exchange talent and you can also exchange commodities, whatever it might be, whatever that commodity is for the work or service that you're getting done. And they're learning something from you or getting something from you and you're learning something from them and getting something from them. So we always have to think about it is that friendship is not necessarily always just uh, there's different kind of friendships. There's business friendships. There's, um, you know, there's uh, uh, friendships when you have a friend. A man to man, woman to woman, woman to man, whatever it might be, right? Uncle to uh, uncle to aunt, grandma to grandson, whatever it might be. So we have to also work on our friendship. We need to be more friendly to one another as African Americans. We need to ha build more friendships in the African American community. If you see somebody that doesn't have a friend, an African American or anybody of African descent, yo, grab them and be like, hey, do you want to hang out with me? You know, do you want to go to where I go? You know, you say you're bored or you say you don't know what to do in the city or in the country or in wherever you're at in the ocean and wherever you're at like grab somebody of african descent and be like hey you know do you want to go to this bar with me or do you want to go out to eat with me and my friends you know do you want to go somewhere instead of just looking at people and being like well i don't know if they'll fit in my clique or i don't know if there's somebody that would enjoy what i do but you'll never know until you invite somebody or let somebody come with you so building friendships are very detrimental to our community for a creative standpoint or from the creative standpoint from a, a economical standpoint and also from a 
excuse me, also from a, you know, personal well-being standpoint and, and how a person and a human being, being feels in this world as far as not being lonely and feeling like they have a community that they can go to because, you know, it, it hurts me to say that I hear sometimes from African American community or people in the community that I don't have a community. I don't, I, I don't know where to go to, to eat this food in some cities. I don't know you know, what store to go to to buy African inspired clothing or, um, you know, African American art or anything that has to do with your heritage of uh, being a, a person of African descent. That saddens me or that saddens me that some African Americans don't even know, you know, where African res restaurants are, uh, you know, where Caribbean restaurants are, where African stores are, where Caribbean stores are, because at the end of the day, we're all African of African descent so we can share with one another. So if you live in a city where well, there's not a big African American uh, population or, um, you know, there is a big African American population or, or somewhat, but you don't know of any stores. There's definitely always the internet, Google, you know, African American stores, you know, clothing stores, you know, African American, uh, um, you know, uh, restaurants, Ethiopian restaurants, Somali restaurants, West African restaurants, you know, Ghana, Nigeria, and Sierra Leone, um, uh, Mali restaurants, uh, you know, Angolan restaurants, South African restaurants, Caribbean restaurants, Jamaican, Haitian. You, you can always create friendships amongst all black people obviously not just your ethnicity of black, but all black people. And so if you can't find that and you can't find what your fix is for, you know, your African-American ethnicity, then find another black ethnicity and go and contribute to their society because at the end of the day, we're all the, from the same yoke. And so friendship is a very, very big deal. Friendship can benefit you in many ways, whether it be your mental status in, in life, whether it be, uh, um, you know, progressing in life for a talent or uh, a dream that you have and also um, you know friendship is just good because we have to stay unified and have unity so I just want to make this quick vlog about how I feel like we need to communicate and we need to uh, understand that we're not always just trying to use each other we can trust each other and also how we can have friendship and friendship leads into many different ventures whether it be mentally for your heart uh, stimulation and just being a good, good person to all the way up to you know making your dream come true and or to make new uh, people in a new community that you can be involved in on the regular so yo until next time i'm out always talk to your brother and sister always communicate with your brother and sister when you see them and yo peace one love what's up what's up hey shalom what up hi Happy Happy Bye.